Right, Martin, thanks for joining us. Um, today we've confirmed the appointment of Ross Emberton as the new head coach of Leighton Orient on a rolling 12-month contract. How are you feeling? Yeah, I think I'm really pleased, to be honest with you. I mean, it's been uh, it's been a funny season, let's be honest about it. Ross took over as, a, as caretaker and then obviously the appointment of Carl Fletcher that didn't work for the football club. And Ross has come back in to do the job, but to, to I think just to put some sort of solid foundation uh, down, and, and Ross being that solid foundation gives the, ch- the club a good opportunity to move forward. And the obvious question from myself will be, you know, we were in this situation only a few months ago in which Ross, you know, didn't feel he was the right man to take the the, the club forward. What's what's changed, and why do you and the, and, and Ross feel that he's the right man now? Yeah, I mean, Ross is Ross is a uh, own opinion is that he feels ready now uh, he, he I think the fact I think he'll tell you himself that that that, that, uh, that you know with Justin passing and then, and then sort of after taking over the reins he didn't you know he felt that it, it was it was awkward for him you know he, he, he felt sometimes he you know he was doing things that maybe Justin used to do and he can't be that he has to be his own man and I think the fact that with Cole coming in has given him the time to think and 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 start start to do it the way that he has to do it, and the way that that Ross Emberton does it, not 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 how Justin did it, and and, and expect the players to uh, or do the same, so the players get the same. So I think he, in his own way, he's he, he's starting to realise he does it his way, and 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 that and that can be a successful way. You cannot be somebody else; you must be yourself. And and I think that's the big thing for Ross. I know Ross. For an awful lot of years, and only since he was 20 when I moved him over as youth coach. So, uh, you know, we wouldn't be giving Ross this job if I didn't think he was up to it or Ross wanted to do it. And, and I'm really, really comfortable that he's that he's ready to, as I said earlier, to take the club forward where we want to go. And it's been, you know, over a month now since uh, Carl Fletcher left the club and Ross took over as interim head coach for the second time. Why the delay? Yeah, the delay. To be honest, with you, we, we, the decision was made probably two, two and a half weeks ago that Ross was going to be the man and, and then I spoke to Ross about it and said that, you know, that we've made our decision you know, that we would like you to become the, you know, the next manager of the club after all the talks that I'd had with him individually and, and, and the board had made that decision. The only delay would be that we didn't want to uh, muddle the Christmas period, you know, trying to get a contract signed with four games done very quickly. So we decided that we would, even though we'd made that decision, we would leave it to the new year to actually get the contract signed, uh, and that's been the, that's been the only delay. It's been nothing to do with, uh, you know, indecision. It's, it's, it's been to do with that we just thought there was a, a multitude of games that we needed to concentrate on, on and, the, and and the, the contract could come second. And, and, and Ross was fully understanding in that respect. And you know, he's overseen a kind of a, a, a slight upturn in, in form, a, a, at least a stabilisation of form in, in the recent weeks. Uh, I guess what was it that you've seen over the last, you know, four, four, four or so weeks that made you felt made you feel that he was the right man? Yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it's the results. We, we only say it's the results business, and and and, and, the, and the results ain't been scintillating. But what I've seen is a, is a, an upturn in, in in when I come to the training ground, uh, the intensity uh, of the training. You know, I've spoke to some senior players. Uh, you know, in terms of their their thoughts about. Ross as a as a manager and, and everybody I spoke to was very positive. But and also in managing his staff and, and and starting to act like a manager. I think the first time around he could he he, he could act as a caretaker and, and 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 didn't quite know where where to take things because when you when you ain't actually the manager long term, he was always thinking in the back of his head, I've got to go back to be a number two, so he couldn't then. Put his own authority on it. I've seen him put his own authority on the situation over the last four to five weeks, uh, and that authority, you know, it, it's been something that I knew was within him. I think he knew it was within himself, and, and it's come out to the fore over the last few weeks. And that's the big thing with me. It, it's about him being the manager, him being the number one man, and him leading leading the back both the players and staff. And what I've seen over the last four or five weeks, I'm very confident that he, that he will do that. And what would you consider his strength? His strength, his strength so he's coaching his, his first class. You know, he's coaching, uh, he's been coaching since he was 16. 
So I think that's 22 years of coaching. So we ain't got no way it's coaching. His man management is is excellent. When he you know he talks to players individually, when he leaves them out, uh, he explains why he's doing it. And I, the, one of the big things for me is making big decisions, leaving players out. That you know someone like let's say just like Josh Colson for instance, you know leaving Josh out who was your captain last year, and and and, he, and he's done it. He's done it. You know he's done it with. Uh, Integrity, you know, he's done it by talking to the players and, and, and getting the players to understand, and he's done it without, you know, wavering from it. I think he's made some big decisions and, and, and some big choices over the last four or five weeks, and I think he's handled it very well. And that's the big part of, of managing is that you've got to be able to make them big decisions, you've got to be able to take the pressure of, of, of winning games of football. And every, as I say, everything I've seen over the last well, all season really. I see it at the start, but it's certainly come to the fore a lot more since he, since he, since after the Carl, since Carl Fletcher left us. There's been a, a lot more of Ross being the leader, being the one, and being able to lead this group forward. And I think that's the thing that's really convinced me that he's that he is the right person for this job. And the development of the Ross Hamilton squad, if you will, has started already. Lawrence Vigaru came in last week, and I suppose, you know, he's now got the opportunity to be to make those decisions you know players coming in players going out um, you know even on the field off the field kind of over the next month yeah because you know we're going into January you know we've not had a great season we'll all accept that and, and, and there's going to be some sort of some changes in, in January both in and out of the building and I think it's important that we had someone that's going to be here longer longer term to make them decisions yeah and Lawrence coming in someone that I know very well because he played you know, when I was at Swindon as manager but Ross knows him a lot better than me Ross had worked with him for two years and he's, a, he's an excellent goalkeeper uh, I've got to say that Sam Sargent has been excellent as a replacement for Dean in recent weeks so the battle was on you know the battle was on between Lawrence Vigaro uh, and Sam Sargent who's going to become number one and we need that you know all over the pitch but that's a perfect example of where we want to go in terms of having competition for places Dean Bill's not available but we've got two excellent goalkeepers with Young Arthur Janata behind them as well and just finally I guess what are the kind of the ambitions for the rest of the season now yeah improvement you know improvement we we, we, we are in a position where we feel that uh, we're got a better squad than where we are but the, 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 there needs to be an improvement on league position of where we are and probably not, not probably in terms of the ratio you know we're, we're averaging about just one point per game uh, you know I want to get that average up you know probably up to about 1.2 1.3 and, and get into the mid mid table uh, for this season and, and, then, and then build from that cheers my